Among the views I have open here is a door schedule view. Schedules in Revit LT are live views of the project. They are not drawn from a series of lines and disconnected pieces of text. Rather, Revit LT simply looks at the model and gathers all of the elements of a certain category, in this case doors, and lists those elements in a table rather than drawing them graphically as it would in a floor plan or elevation. The best part of this approach is that the schedule serves not only as a printable document, but can also be used to edit the model directly. Scrolling through the list that I have here in the schedule, as I click to select various doors, you'll see them highlight in both the plan and the 3D view. I'm going to click to select the 206P door and then activate the plan view to make an edit. From the type selector, I'm going to change the size of this door from a 36 inch wide door to a 30 inch door. You'll see it get smaller here in plan and also notice that here in the schedule view, the new size is immediately reflected. Now, unlike the other doors in this area, you can see that currently there's no frame information. You have a few ways you can edit that. If I click in one of the fields in the schedule, there's a small infield drop down, and I can use that to quickly assign one of the values that I've already previously typed in for other like elements, like the two different options that I have here for the door frame. Now, the other way that I can make such changes is to click into one of my graphical views, like the floor plan, and simply type in a value directly on the properties palette, such as paint for the finish. Notice that that finish information immediately fills in on the schedule. Now often we like to see some of the values that we see in the schedule reflected on the plan, such as the door number. We can do this by adding tags to the view. I'm going to go to the tag by category command on the quick access toolbar. When you move your mouse around the screen, you'll see that Revit will automatically choose the appropriate tag for the objects that you have highlighted, such as a door tag. If I click on the door in the space that we've been considering, you'll see that it's filling in correctly the door designation that we see here on the schedule. If I want to add the tags more quickly, I can go to the Annotate tab and instead use the Tag All Not Tagged command. It will allow me to choose a tag, such as the door tag, and apply it to all objects in the current view. This command will only tag the objects that have not previously been tagged, so you'll see a new door tag get added for each of the other doors in the view. If I want to change the opening number of any of the doors, such as again our 206P, which is actually out of sequence, all I have to do is click in the schedule and type in the new value that I want, and when I enter it, you'll immediately see the door tag update to reflect the change. You can also click right on the door tag and click to edit the value right there on screen as well. When you make edits in Revit LT, you're editing the model. It does not matter in which view you choose to perform the edit. Editing in a floor plan or an elevation or even a schedule gives the same results. You're changing the model. And all views, including schedules and tags, must be updated. This is the power of Revit LT and its fully parametric change engine.